Does it feel good to be back here at Holiday World, my favorite park for sentimental reasons? There's a couple things I'm excited to do today. First and foremost, get on good gravy for my first time. This is the park's newest coaster. I'm excited to try it because I've never done a Vacoma Family Boomerang before. Before I do that, there's some other important business I need to take care of. Since I'll be starting a new streak with good gravy and hopefully writing that every year since it first opened, I gotta keep one streak alive first. So I am naturally going to Thunderbird first because this is that coaster's 10th year in a row of operation and I've ridden it the past nine years we're gonna make this year number 10 and obviously I'm excited to get back on the other wooden coasters here in Raven Legend and especially Voyage so let's go and have a good day gonna be timing myself to see how fast I can get up to Thunderbird from here I don't think I timed myself last year but in 2022 when I visit Hollywood Nights on the first day I got up there in three minutes and five seconds which I think that's still my record to this day so let's see if we can beat it today not only did I just absolutely body my personal best time getting up here with a 253 but the streak is still alive 10 years and counting i was the only one on the train too so i kept the streak alive this year just like i did last year first train of the day zen ride on thunderbird so we just did the left side now let's continue around on the right say this is a top 20 coaster for me i can't get enough of this ride and i'm usually excited to ride this more than voyage which for today that was definitely the case so no complaints there speaking of voyage i'm gonna go down there and get a ride on that before checking out good gravy which i am surprised this many people are already up at thunderbird i thought a lot more people would go to good gravy everyone seemed to bypass that and come straight up to thunderbird so good thing i got two laps on it when i did because that line especially on the right wing is building up fast <laughs> gravy on the way to voyage but the line was full already so it's like 30 45 minutes already before i do voyage i'm correcting the mistake i made last time and that is not doing gobbler getaway when i came here over labor day weekend the line was through all the switchbacks in here so it was like at least an hour wait so i wasn't able to get on it we had a shorter day so i'm making sure to get on it right now while the line is somewhat manageable here Are Prowler, Mom, Alara, Time Traveler, Powder Keg, Mr. Freeze, 
Texas Dennis, New Texas Julian, Iron Rattler, Titan, Steel Eel, Texas Stingray, Nanko, the Incredible Hulk Coast, Velocity, Tinkler, Glossy, Monty, Cheetah Hunt, Air Force One, Goliath the Six Flags Over Georgia, Twisted Cyclone, Storm Chaser, and Lightning Run. So I think there might be some I'm missing, but those are the major ones that I wrote since the last run. amazing. Still my number one, and it's not exactly close. I just saw Legend cycle a train empty, so either it's about to open because it hasn't opened all day, or they're testing it to, like, put a second train on, which I found out that apparently yesterday it had one train running and it was the longest line of the day, so if they're about to open it, I should go over there and ride that before that line builds up, so let's head over there. And then maybe I'll check Raven out while I'm over there as well. <laughs> because I saw that line was through some of the lower switchbacks. And if that's on one train, that line will be way too long. So I'm going to head back down to the Thanksgiving section and check out Good Gravy because I haven't done that yet. And that's the last new credit I'll be getting on this trip. <laughs>
that good gravy and that line is still pretty long so i'm gonna wait a little bit longer if by three o'clock it's still not short i'll just do it then because otherwise i won't get to do it and i want to get that streak going so in the meantime i'm going back up to thunderbird because i've seen it's running considerably faster than this morning so i'm gonna go up there and get a couple rides on that and hope that line isn't too bad because i know that line was building up very fast earlier this morning so i hope it's died down at least somewhat <laughs> this the thing was flying the entire time and it was awesome right out a little bit as well man i did not expect to see thunderbird like this at all like no line for both wings i could deal with this all day <laughs>
But I will say that in the front, my legs did kind of get in the way of the decor of the zero car and whatnot. It was kind of jabbing into my legs. So not the most pleasant. It was still a nice ride. The whole backward section was very disorienting because A, I didn't know which way I was going. And B, I was almost sliding all over the train. So that was pretty cool. Might try it in the back later if time allows for it, but I might be able to see some clothes in today. So we'll have to see about that. Plus I haven't done Raven yet, which I was gonna head up there fairly soon here. try Gobbler Getaway a second time on the way towards Voyage, and something I just now realized, Holiday World is the first park where I'll have two coast streets to keep alive with Good Gravy and Thunderbird. That'll soon be joined by King's Island with Orion and whatever coaster that thing was called. Uh, Camp Snoopy, I forgot the exact name. Doobie's Soapbox Derby, I think it was. That's what it was. So anyway, let's try Gobbler Getaway. was the station weight so I decided to give it another try and my goodness was that ride crazy. Now I'm gonna go up and check Raven because that's the last of the major coasters here I haven't done yet. On the way up there I might check Legend out as well see if that line's short because Voyage was the station weight since Thunderbird was also a walk on earlier. Maybe Raven and Legend have very short lines right now so let's head up to those rides and take a look at them.
shot off with the Raven, and it was all right. My rides last year were definitely better, though. I thought they had more bite to it than this year, but it's still a good ride. I heard that Legend's line might be a little shorter than when it was when I checked a little bit ago. So let's try Legend out again, see how it's running compared to my ride earlier in the day, which I thought was running amazing this morning. Now that it's warmed up a bit, I'm intrigued to see how well it's running. So let's go give it another try. this morning was amazing it warmed up significantly since then and that last ride i had was off the wall bonkers that's getting a little bit of a bump in my list which i think i have it ranked below prowler world of fun i'm changing that because this thing is insane since i've ridden legend twice i figured might as well go ride raven twice so let's head up there and give it another try <laughs> his top five at this point which i think is saying a lot and then i got a sixth ride on thunderbird which was just as insane as always
getting shots of some of the rides, especially good gravy. And so, final ride count. It was six on Thunderbird, four on Voyage, two on Legend, Gobbler Getaway, and Raven, and then one on Good Gravy. In terms of highlights, keeping my Thunderbird streak alive for the 10th year in a row was exciting. Voyage was running amazing, especially later in the day, and Legend was also solid. Overall, I would say this is a really good trip to this park, and uh, even though I wasn't able to say it's a close, I mean, the park closes at eight, and actually the drone show is at nine, so I could have gotten Voyage night rides, but that's all right. It was still good to get back to this park, even though I thought I wouldn't be able to make it back here this year and before we click off this video please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already be sure to come away enjoy the best video and be sure to share with someone else let me know if you're new to this channel like we saw please consider subscribing for more content like this my goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year so i appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell and taking notified every time i upload a new video i also have an instagram account for the pictures i take whenever i visit parks so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description as for my next vlog next week i'm also heading king's island so stay tuned for that that's all it i'll see you later